Hi, everybody. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to use filter views in Google Sheets um, to use filter. Well, we're going to use filter views so that multiple people can look on the same sheet and look at different data sets without messing with the view that someone else is looking on. So the very first step of this is we need to create several different filter views so that any of the people that have this sheet shared with them can look at these different filter views whenever they want. Let's create our first filter view together. So to create our first filter view, we are going to use this Create a Filter button. However, when I single click this Create a Filter button, you'll notice it only added filters, and the filters look like these icons in the columns. It only under filters for columns A through I. In column, starting in column K and to the right, they do not have the filter icon. So I'm going to use the undo arrow. I need to select all of my data and then use the filter icon. So step one above row one and just to the left of column A is this empty cell. Give that one click on that empty cell. Now all of the data is highlighted. Once all of the data is highlighted, now I'm going to click the create a filter icon. Now you can see there's a filter icon for all column headers. So the first thing we'll do is we will filter by teacher first. So I'm going to click the filter icon in the teacher column. And I'm going to select only Sawyer. So this should be only Sawyer students. We have Sawyer's class. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of these columns to sort low to high for Sawyer's class. So I want to take a look at Sawyer's class. And I want to also sort NWEA math winter. But I want the lowest scores to be at the top and the highest scores to be at the bottom. So while Sawyer's class is pulled up, I'm going to go to this filter icon for NWEA math winner, and I'm going to sort A to Z. And now it's the lowest NWEA math scores at the top. The highest down here, it's only showing Sawyer's class. I want to save this view as a filter view. So while this has the teachers selected that I want and the NWEA math winner scores sorted as I want, I'm going to go to data and filter views. And then I'm going to go to Save as Filter View. Not Create New Filter View, Save as Filter View. And by default, it gives a name Filter 1. I don't like that, so I'm going to do this naming convention. I'm going to say the name of the teacher, Sawyer. And then I'm going to say NWEA Math Winter, because that was the column that I sorted here. And then I'm going to say NWEA Math Winter, low to high. So we know what this we know what this is labeled. Okay, I like that. And then I'm going to press enter or click off of this to save that filter view. So now I'm going to close this filter view by pressing X. If I go to data and filter views, this should still be here. But now that I'm out of the filter view, I'm back on this sheet, I can see that whoever else would be using this sheet only sees Sawyer. So if Cosgrove comes here, she's going to say, wait a minute, where in the world are my kids? I only see uh, Sawyer's kids. So what we're going to need to do is turn off this filter or select all, select all. That will select all of the teachers. And now let's create another filter view. So I am going to go through this process one more time. Let's sort by teacher again. This time let's do Cosgrove. Press OK. These are only Cosgrove students. For Cosgrove, let's say we weren't we wanted to sort um, for her. Let's do NWEA reading winter, and we want to sort low to high. So Cosgrove is selected. We're going to go to the NWEA reading winter column, and we're going to sort that A to Z. And I want to save this filter view. So while this is selected, I'm going to go to data filter view and save as filter view. OK, it's only showing Cosgrove students, and it's sorted NWEA reading winter low to high. So now I'm going to rename this filter view. Name of the teacher. And that was NWEA winter. What did we sort? Oh, reading. NWEA reading winter. And then let's say that's sorted low to high. So the People that look at our filter view, low to high, can see what it is. And I clicked off of it to save it, and now I'm going to close out. So now, 
when we go to data. Now, again, here we are on the master sheet and it's sorted only by Cosgrove. So what we can do is go to data and turn off filter and that selects everybody. This is how we wanna leave the sheet for everybody to look at. Let's go to data and see what kind of filter views we have. So far we have Sawyer and Cosgrove. Let's test them to see if they work. So let's click on Cosgrove. It should only show her students sorted by NWA reading. Yep. Let's go back to data and filter view. Let's take a look at Sawyer. Yep, so that's only Sawyer students. So what you're gonna do is repeat that process. You're gonna select your filter and keep making as many filter views as possible because you're gonna have lots of different filter views here, several for each, for each teacher. And then we're gonna train the staff how to use this. And remember when you're done making filter views, when you come back to the master sheet, you go to data and turn off the filter so it doesn't confuse anyone. All right, thanks everybody. Let me know if you have any questions.